Hey guys, I'm Paul. I'm Will. From Paul and Will Photography. And today we're doing part two of what's in our bag. So today we're doing the, I guess the lighting, lighting. stuff. Yeah, oh yeah. We already went through cameras, we went through lenses. Check out that on the last video. This time we're going to get into... Uh, click right here. Well, it's probably gonna be right here temporarily if you wanna check it out. Well, you got no headroom on the video, man. That's the problem. I didn't give you a lot. I'll try to fit it in, but we'll see. Anyway, check yeah. out what we got in terms of lighting stuff that's on this table. It's not a lot. The rest of it's off-site with our other shooter who's shooting with the rest of our cameras and our gear. Actually, that reminds me. The other shooter is Fez. Um, I will, we all have a picture of him right here. Anyways, you'll see why. You'll see why. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, inside joke. Anyways, we have our lighting coming right here. All the lights. So what we have, uh, as you can take a look down here, we have a number of flashes that we can either use on camera or off camera. Um, these flashes actually allow us to get a bit more creative with our subjects and our environment by actually controlling the lighting that's there. Absolutely. So we'll start it off with the um, 600 EXRT. Sorry. So this flash is actually one of Canon's latest new technologies uh, flashes that have been uh, released. Um, just actually la uh, mid early last year, I think. Uh, mid mid yeah. 2012. Yeah. Yeah. So solid light comes with a couple of things. Comes with actually a light modifier uh, with it. Um, comes with some gels, yeah. Gels and also really good for HSPD. Sorry, HSP. HSP. High speed thing. High speed thing. Um, we we actually use a lot of high speed sync with our uh, wireless triggers. Uh, for light manipulation, because you get it's about curtains, you know. We'll if you guys need to hear more about it, just let us know. We'll actually tell you about it. So, but this is solid flash. Right I there. think I think these flashes they're powerful, very powerful. But I think when they came out, they were way overpriced. They were. I, I think Canon just jacked up the price. Yeah. You know what? You guys want a new flash? <laughs> we want the money. So anyway, we got two of these puppies that yeah. uh, we use. We originally have places. three. But I'm like, there's no point of me having three. And I bought them for like 750 bucks. The RT, yeah, yeah, the RT feature is, it, it's good, but it's, it's not really that practical. practical. It's not really practical. Well, you can use it, but you, you don't want to use it the, unless you get yeah. the commander, then that's something. That's different. exactly. So, but the commander again is overpriced. But that's what we have, 600 RTs. We also have a couple of these buddies there. These are the uh, the 580 EX2s. Yeah, we have actually um, two of them with Fez, the other shooter. So this is uh, the other one. Now I find these flashes not exactly to be the best flashes. They are powerful, they, but you know, sometimes they act up. You know what? Before the 600 came out, these were like the best flashes out there. And you guys know that too. Um, I thought Nikon had the best flash. Well, yeah, okay, fine. You know what? You're Nikon. I don't know. I thought you hate Nikon. Nikon's not bad. Again, I think you're Nikon. I'm, I'm a Canon I like shooter. my Canon. I'm a Canon shooter. I, I, I love Canon. Don't get me wrong. I love their lenses. Yeah. What can I say? I'm, I'm a good Canon guy, don't worry. But all, in all honesty, 580 EX2, solid lens, I'm sorry, solid flash. Um, I like it when before the 600. Now to the uh, next we flash. Have the next one here. This actually is a very handy flash, the uh, 430 EX2. Um, solid flash, very durable. Trust me, I know when, when I mean by durable, it's very durable. I dropped this flash. Several, several times. This is strong. It can take a beating. This, um, this is one of my yeah. favorites, actually. I'll never let this one go. Just because I, I did start with this one, but again, it doesn't act up when the 580 does. Um, so if I have this and I have a 580 in my bag, I'll, I'll, I'll use the 580 again for some types of on-camera stuff. Mm -hmm. I won't use it for the off-camera stuff because it does have some incompatibilities with that. But the 430, very, very solid, both on-camera and off-camera. But again, not as powerful as the 580 or even the 600 for that fact. So next flash we have is the Young No 560. The this is actually a um, flash that actually is a replica, well, replica or made equivalent to the 580 EX1. Yeah, not EX2, yeah. EX1. Um, this is a completely manual flash, very so manual. you are yeah. controlling the power output 
manually, not through ETTL or ETTL2. It's all going to be handheld operation. Now, this is just a backup flash. Uh, you can use it on camera because it is meant for the Canon, but most case scenarios is we'll use this one as yeah, an off camera. Yeah, yeah we we'll use this one off camera as just go. a main fill yeah. or as a main back because you don't change, there, there's no ETTL. It's going to be one power, however you set it, and that's the way it's going to be. And of course, it has a bounce card, which is good as well. Overall, not bad. This Solid. thing you can drop because it's, yeah. it's, it's a cheap flash, but it does the job. It does the job. Now, next, um, uh, yeah. actually, let me start it off with, this is what I use. Uh, the Fortix Odin um, trigger receiver. I actually have a pocket where it's ETTL. This one outperforms it. Absolutely outperforms it. And it, 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 it and about they're actually the same price. Not really. It's, it's actually, actually a bit cheaper. No, it's actually the same price. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, um, I have a um, couple of receivers. I have two here. I've got a couple so of receivers. We have um, one trigger. It's solid. It's really solid. If you guys want to go shoot high speed sync. We'll get that. Yeah, this one's good. This one does it's, up to um, eight thousandth of a second. It's about three hundred and fifty dollars for the um, the trigger and receiver, around three hundred fifty dollars for trigger and receiver, and the receiver itself is about one hundred and seventy-five dollars. So it's around the same price as the um, Pocket Wizards um, ETL. Now, as uh, another option that we have here is we have the uh, the Pixel King. It also is compatible with the Pixel Knight, uh, which is a, a different model of this. Uh, but this particular one, this is capable of high-speed sync. So this one also syncs up to 8,000th of a second, um, permitting the flash lets it. Again, it has some difficulties with the 580, as I was saying. But uh, this is very solid. Um, it has everything that I need, and it's firmware upgradable, yes. which oh, yeah. I mean, you can. I mean, that's definitely a bonus. And uh, it's relatively lower cost than the uh, than the actual Pocket Wizard or the so, Fortix as well. But it does yeah. all the ETTL stuff that everything else does, and it's capable of high speed sync. And not only that, it comes in a nice little carry pouch too. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. Yeah, I'm surprised these expensive brands don't have any. Next very important device that I actually like carrying around with me is my mini speakers. Portable speakers. I like to call them mini speakers. I love them. They're mini and they're speakers. Awesome, awesome tool. Um, if you have any further questions, feel free to message us. Message, message us on um, YouTube, Facebook, um, Instagram. Feel free. Uh, and Instagram, my name is Paul Thawa. And I'm Willy Kumar. Okay. I gotta write that down. You got actually gotta write. So for, if you wanna actually contact us, there's more information right here and right here. Uh, right here. Yeah. Okay, somewhere so, here. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere. And right. we have Fez up here. Oh. Check so, us out, subscribe, yeah. like, do everything. Check us out, Paul and Will, photography. Oh yeah, for sure. Also, quick announcements, just wanna let everybody know. Um, more videos are coming up, okay? Um, give us your ideas and thoughts, what you want us to do as a video. Um, we will love your feedback on this. You know, and this is our like, yeah, subscribe. Put in for the sure. comment you want us to have a sword fight. You know, we'll film that. No problem. Hmm. No, we won't do that. Anywho, thank you for watching Paul and Will TV. I'm Paul, and I'm the guy holding the camera. And that's Will. Say cheese. Thank you for watching Paul and Will TV. See, See you next time. Hello? 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 Oh, hello? 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 Are, are you hold there? On, hold on. Are, are you there? Hello? Uh, oh, I got dust in the lens?